Surrounding Mayor Ford tonight in connection to two reference letters that he wrote for convicted criminals. Our City Hall reporter, Jamie Strashen, joining us live tonight. What has been the reaction there, Jamie? <laughs> Well, Anne-Marie, the reaction has been one uh, of shock and disbelief that Mayor Ford uh, showed, in the words of one councillor, very poor judgment in writing these letters. Uh, the mayor's behaviour has seemingly become a daily talk here at City Hall. Today, no different. Oh, my God. And he put it on his letterhead? Mm -hmm. Disbelief at City Hall today about two character reference letters written by Mayor Ford on city letterhead vouching for two convicted criminals. Uh, that's not something that I would ever do, and it's inappropriate to be giving references to characters like that. One for friend Sandro Lisi before he was sentenced for threatening to kill his girlfriend. Ford calls Lisi polite and courteous and points to his work during the mayoral campaign, writing, Mr. Lisi was an exemplary member of my campaign team where he displayed exceptional leadership skills and worked hard both in and out of my campaign office. Sources tell CBC Lisi never worked on the campaign. You do not interfere as a politician with court proceedings, period, and you certainly don't do it with your letterhead. Can you move the camera, please? Are you gonna, like, do that the mayor was mum about Lisi today, but in the past has defended their relationship. He's a good guy, and uh, I don't throw my friends under the bus. Another reference letter the mayor wrote was on behalf of tow truck driver Douglas Sedgwick. Ford calls him courteous and polite, but Sedgwick is a convicted murderer and has numerous driving offenses. City staff said it was a bad idea to reinstate his license, but the tribunal granted him one. There doesn't seem to be a lot of concern or contrition from the mayor's office or those close to him about these letters. In fact, just the opposite. The narrative seems to be the mayor believes in second chances. He's written numerous letters for people that have broken the law. And Rob's character is he doesn't judge people when they come to him. He doesn't throw the book at people. He tries to help them. I think all of us would want friends that stand by us in difficult times. Now, we hear people around the mayor talking about second chances. Well, documents obtained by CBC from the National Parole Board reveal that Douglas Sedgwick, the man that the mayor vouched for, has had numerous second chances since he was paroled for murder in 1993. His parole has been rescinded numerous times, according to these documents, for drug use and drug trafficking. Um, that's what these documents tell us. So it seems like Mr. Sedgwick has had numerous second chances, according to the National Parole Board. The mayor clearly feeling he was warranted another one, writing that letter in January of 2012.